Mega Marino. His name is Mega Marino. Time Man from Mega Man Powered Up. His weapon is time slow and he's weak to Thunder Beam. Time Man was created by Dr. Life for use in time travel experiments. However, he is only a prototype robot. Time Man also has an irritable attitude. Time Man moves forward towards Mega Man and then performs a jump. After he jumps, he'll continue to walk and then shoot you with two projectiles. The projectiles are in the shape of hands on a clock. Time Man's main ability is Time Slow. Once Time Man charges, he will release Time Slow and slow down Mega Man, making it harder to move. So to avoid Time Man, you can walk away from him and then slide under him as he jumps. You can also jump over both of his projectiles. The only time you cannot deal damage to Time Man is while he's charging Time Slow. Overall, Time Man can be annoying to fight, especially when he slows you down. For no damage loops against Time Man, you'll want to jump over his projectile, slide under him, and keep the damage flowing. Just focus on jumping over him and landing shots when he is not charging. Just charge up your buster and shoot one at a time, man. Subscribe for more. Cut Man from Mega Man 1. His weapon is Rolling Cutter and he's weak to Super Arm. Cut Man was created by Dr. Light to be a timber felling robot. His Rolling Cutter is made of ceramic titanium. He's also very cunning and he loves haircuts. Cutman moves towards Mega Man and then throws his rolling cutter. While his rolling cutter is active, he'll try to jump on top of Mega Man. There's a few ways that you can avoid Cutman. You can jump over his rolling cutters or run away and slide under him. You can also force Cutman to throw rolling cutters when you're close to him and set up some dodge loops. Overall, Cutman can be pretty simple if you can control his rolling cutters. It's also worth noting that Cutman is the default boss in Mega Man Maker, which is why he's overused a ton because people just click a boss and add him. So you'll get used to fighting Cutman very quickly. Shoutouts to Little Timmy. For no damage loops against Cutman, you'll want to jump over his rolling cutter and shoot. You can also get loops by going back and forth and even lock him into a wall. In terms of bosses, this boss certainly makes the cut, man. Subscribe for more. Iceman from Mega Man 1. His weapon is Ice Slasher and he's weak to Thunder Beam. Iceman was created by Dr. Light to perform human-like tasks under extreme climate conditions. Iceman is also self-centered and a show-off. Iceman jumps and shoots three ice slashers at you, high, middle, and low. Low, middle, and high. Each time Iceman shoots a set of six ice slashers, he'll land and then either move left or right. So to avoid Iceman, you can stand far away and dodge between his shots and even slide under him. I'd recommend practicing neutral jumping through the ice slashers as it helps with the consistent DPS. Dodging is way easier than it looks. And again, DPS is damage per second. Overall, Iceman is very straightforward. Just focus on dodging the ice while keeping up with your damage. For no damage loops against Iceman, you'll want to jump in between the lowest and the middle Ice Slasher. You can either neutral jump or side jump. Just keep up the charge shots while dodging the ice and stay cool. This boss is cool as ice, man. Subscribe for more. Bomb Man from Mega Man 1. His weapon is Hyper Bomb and he is weak to Firestorm. Bombman was created by Dr. Light as one of the first line of industrial robot masters. Bombman also works alongside Gutsman in construction projects. We don't have Gutsman. Bomb Man moves like a maniac. He can perform short hops or long hops and even throw bombs from far away. The hyper bombs he throws explode in a huge area, so you want to dodge those. The best part about Bomb Man's movement is you can force him to never throw a bomb. If you pressure Bomb Man and continuously walk into him, you'll force him to always jump and never throw a bomb. This boss is super fun to manipulate, so to avoid Bomb Man, you actually want to get up close. This will force him to keep hopping and he will not throw a bomb, but if he does throw a bomb, make sure you're more than two tiles away from it. Overall, Bomb Man could be an extremely fun fight. For no damage loops against Bomb Man, you'll want to walk him down and start shooting him. I like to call this the Bomb Man Dance. Either stay up close to move him or stay away and dodge. Once you learn this fight, it's the Bomb Man. Subscribe for more. Fire Man from Mega Man 1. His weapon is Firestorm and he is weak to Ice Slasher. Fireman was created by Dr. Light to work in an incinerator at a waste management facility. His flames can reach 8,000 degrees and he's certainly a hot-tempered individual. Fireman walks back and forth. He will continue to walk until he takes damage or the player crosses a set distance. He will shoot fire waves at you in either sets of singles or doubles. Both can be jumped over. Fireman always runs away from the player after he finishes an attack. So if you go in spamming, he'll spam back. To avoid Fireman, you just walk away from him and keep jumping over his fire waves. You can keep up great damage against Fireman once you're comfortable dodging his shots. Manipulating Fireman can be quite easy. Overall, Fireman can be easy if you understand the fight. Just jump and shoot. 
For no damage loops against Fireman, you'll want to either neutral jump over his fire waves or side jump over them. When close, just jump over him and stay far away. And remember to focus on how many fire waves he shoots. Once you get the rhythm going, you'll be on fire, man. Subscribe for more. Yellow Devil from Mega Man 1. His weapon is Recomposition and he's weak to Thunder Beam. Yellow Devil was the first combat robot created by Dr. Wily. Yellow Devil's body consists of yellow goo that flies around on screen. And of course his weakness is his red eye. Yellow Devil splits into 19 parts that move in a set pattern. He will move from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen traditionally, and then back and forth again. Yellow Devil will open its eye at a random height and then becomes vulnerable, so that's when you'll want to shoot. So to avoid Yellow Devil, you can neutral jump or jump over his goo balls, or if you have slide, you can slide under them. There's nothing to do in this fight except dodge. Overall, Yellow Devil can be quite a pain in the ass since the average fight takes about 6 years. For no damage loops against Yellow Devil, you'll want to focus on his goo balls and jump over them to stay alive. Once he exposes himself, you can shoot him, but only take damage on his eye. Also, don't forget, he'll also try to shoot you out of his eyeball, so you want to dodge that. So just remember, goo balls, exposes himself, big damage, Yellow Devil. Subscribe for more. Metal Man from Mega Man 2. His weapon is Metal Blade and he's weak to Quick Boomerang. Metal Man was created by Dr. Wily specifically for combat for his revenge against Mega Man. While Metal Man is a quick and efficient worker, he possesses a dry wit. Metal Man jumps up to one of three heights. On the way down, he'll throw one to three Metal Blades, depending on which height he jumps. He can also attack if he simply wait too long. Also, if you get too close to Metal Man, he will leap to the other side of the room to gain distance, throwing the Metal Blade at the peak of his jump. So to avoid Metal Man, you can neutral jump or full screen jump over his Metal Blades, or you can do what I call the Metal Man Dance. Just dance back and forth with him by manipulating his jump. Overall, Metal Man can be super easy if you get the dance loop going. Otherwise, he'll be a full screen spamming nuisance. For no damage loops against Metal Man, just get in there and dance. Just walk up to Metal Man, which manipulates him, jumps on the other side, avoid his Metal Blade, rinse and repeat. Find that sweet spot, find the rhythm, and put your pedal to the metal, man. Subscribe for more. Bubble Man from Mega Man 2. His weapon is Bubble Lead and he's weak to Metal Blade. Bubble Man was created by Dr. Wily as the first aquatic underwater combat robot master. Despite being the most bullied robot master in the game, he is a high-spirited individual. Bubble Man starts this pattern by firing 1-3 to three bouncing bubbles, which can be dodged or jumped over. Once he fires, he'll jump diagonally over Mega Man's head, and then he'll land on the ground. Also, if he catches Mega Man in his crosshairs, he will fire tiny projectiles. So to avoid Bubble Man, you can stand still, dodge, or jump over his bouncing bubbles, or you can take advantage of the water physics and get big juicy jumps towards him or away from his bubbles. Overall, Bubble Man's a great fight, there's a lot to learn from it. Oh, also, Bubble Man enjoys bathing in hot springs, spending money, and he hates water pollution. For no damage loops against Bubble Man, you'll want to shoot him while dodging his bubbles. You can also shoot him while you jump over his little projectiles. Also, in the original Mega Man 2 Bubble Man room, there's spikes on the screen, so don't touch those. You'll be in trouble if you touch the bubble, man. Subscribe for more. Dick Man, I mean Quick Man from Mega Man 2. His weapon is Quick Boomerang and he's weak to Time Stopper. Quick Man was created by Dr. Wily using Elect Man's design as a base. He's made of lightweight materials, allowing him to move at high speeds. He's also cunning and particularly proud of his speed. Quick Man jumps three times and then runs at the player before jumping again. On the second jump, he'll throw three Quick Boomerangs that will clump up or spread out. If they miss, they'll stop and re-aim themselves at Mega Man's position. So to avoid Quick Man, you have to be fast and on your toes with decision making. You want to jump over him when he's running at you and you want to bait out and manip his boomerangs. Overall, Quick Man could be the most challenging boss in the game because of pure RNG. Plus, he hits like a truck. Quick Man is easily the hardest robot master in Mega Man Maker. So for no damage loops, it's all about anticipation. You have to assume plan A while thinking about plan B, and you have to react accordingly by shooting him when the timing windows are convenient. Just try to keep up with Quick Man and stay on top of his attacks and always be ready to shoot. Just try to avoid his boomerangs on incoming and outgoing. You really just have to be quicker than quick, man. Subscribe for more. Crash Man from Mega Man 2. His weapon is Crash Bomber and he is weak to air shooter. Crash Man was created by Dr. Wily using design of Bob Man and Guts Man. Crash Man is an honest individual who is usually obedient, although sometimes he's clumsy due to lack of hands. Crash Man walks back and forth until the player shoots. Once the player shoots, Crash Man will jump in the player's general direction and launches a crash bomb on the way down. So to avoid Crash Man, you can walk away from him and jump over him without pressing shoot, or you can manipulate him by shooting and determine where he'll go next. Crash Man is one of the easiest bosses in the game to manip. Overall, Crash Man can be one of the easiest fights in Mega Man history, as you have full control over his jumps. Oh, Crash Man also enjoys demolishing buildings, but cares very little about recycling. Crash Man also has violent mood swings. 
For no damage loops against Crassman, you can get him in a nice loop, which consists of jumping and shooting and waiting for his bomb to explode. And then you can walk where it exploded, jump and shoot again, rinse and repeat. Just find that rhythm and do not let it crash. Man. Subscribe for more. Woodman from Mega Man 2. His weapon's leaf shield and he's weak to atomic fire. Woodman was created by Dr. Wily using natural Hinoki cypresses. He has great resistance against physical blows, but is highly vulnerable to fire and cutting weaponry. Woodman starts by firing four leaves in the air, creates a leaf shield around him. Then he will throw the leaf shield forward, which hits like a truck. Then he jumps a short distance, and the leaves he shot towards the ceiling start falling down in a swaying motion. So to avoid Woodman, you can jump over the leaf shield he throws at you, and you can weave in between the swaying leaves. Overall, Woodman takes up a ton of screen real estate and could be a pain in the ass. For no damage loops against Woodman, wait until he throws his leaf shield to shoot him. Or you could even walk up to him and charge shot through his shield. Even though he has a shield up, you can still shoot through it. Just be careful if he corners you, you can slide under him, but it's very tight. Woodman also enjoys world's natural beauty and often goes hiking in his spare time. If you don't focus on respecting his leaves, this fight can be hard as wood. Man. Subscribe for more. Boo Beam Traps from Mega Man 2. Its weapon is a pink projectile and its weakness is Crash Bomber. Boo Beam Traps were created by Dr. Wily. They are protected by reinforced hoods, shoot simultaneously, and flash when about to fire. Boo Beam Traps also sound like boobies. Initially, Boo Beam Traps do nothing, and then they all fire at once. Boo Beam Traps can be placed anywhere in Mega Man Maker. You can put them on walls, floors, ceilings, and more. You can also set what they are weak to and how much damage they take. To avoid Boo Beam Traps, you can walk around the room until you find a sweet spot that lets you hopefully dodge all the projectiles at once, depending on how many there are and if there's room to dodge them. Overall, Boo Beams are fine and usually quite fun until some asshole spams 900 of them in one level. For no damage loops against boo beam traps, just find the weakness and start killing them one at a time. Hopefully you have a weapon that lets you deal with some boo beam traps that are on the ceilings or walls or in really hard to reach places. Or sometimes you get a weapon that lets you deal with multiple at once. And what's better than dealing with multiple boobies at once? Just one boo beam trap. Subscribe for more. Magnet Man from Mega Man 3. His weapon is Magnet Missile and he is weak to spark shot. Magnet Man was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily to generate powerful magnetic forces. Magnet Man also has no sense of direction and enjoys magnetic therapy, and he hates floppy disks. Magnet Man's plan is to go back and forth. He takes two jumps and switches sides. Once he gets to a new side, he will use one of two attacks. His first attack is to create a magnetic shield around him, which makes him invincible and pulls the player. And the second attack is to leap up high into the ceiling and fire three magnet missiles. They will change direction once they've passed Mega Man raining from above. So to avoid Magnet Man, you can slide under his jumps, run away from his sucky sucky attack, and walk past his missiles. Overall, he's a very easy fight once you get the hang of it. Oh, and you can also stop his sucky sucky attack by jumping on the other side of him. For no damage loops against Magnet Man, just walk or slide back and forth while paying attention to his pattern. Get in damage whenever he's not pulling you in or when he's in the air. Just don't shoot him when he's making sucky sucky. Once you master these boss tutorials, you'll be attracting all the ladies like a magnet. Man. Subscribe for more. Hard Man from Mega Man 3. His weapon is Hard Knuckle and he's weak to Magnet Missile. Hard Man was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. He's a hard, durable body made of serotanium and he weighs about 3 tons. Due to his weight, Hard Man is also lazy and complains a lot. Hard Man starts by firing both of his rocket-powered fists called Hard Knuckles. Both are aimed at the player and upon passing will return around and re-aim to the player again. After the Hard Knuckles fly away, Hard Man jumps forward and will stop mid-air and land on the player. Upon landing, he creates a tremor so powerful the player will be frozen in place even in the air. So to avoid Hard Man, I suggest staying close to the walls as you can actually despawn his Hard Knuckles. You can also take advantage of Slide in this fight and slide past his Hard Knuckles. Overall, Hard Man can be hard if you don't know how to dodge his projectiles. For no damage loops against Hard Man, stay against a wall and shoot. Dodge his hard knuckles and then slide to the other side of the screen and restart the loop. You can jump over his first fist and then dodge the second fist and slide away from him when he butt slams. For those that watch this video, it's easy. For those that don't, it's hard. Man. Subscribe for more. Top Man from Mega Man 3. His weapon is Top Spin and he is weak to hard knuckle. Top Man was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily to work on other planets in search of energy elements needed to build Gamma. Top Man also is a smooth talker and loves roller skating. Top Man starts by throwing three tops from his head into the air, which then launches themselves at Mega Man. They'll use Top Spin in place, becoming invincible to all attacks. After a bit, he zooms to the other side while spinning. He will then repeat those two attacks in the same order. Because of his simplicity, he's one of the easiest bosses in Mega Man history. So to avoid Top Man, slide or jump over his tops, and jump over Top Man when he's rushing at you. You can also do the Merino Special, which is to stand pixel perfect against the wall and just neutral jump and he cannot touch you. Overall, Top Man is kind of a meme in a classic boss fight. But be careful, he does hit like a truck. 
For no damage loops against top man, I recommend the Merino Special. Again, just stand in the corner, and once you walk all the way into the wall, turn around, face top man, and neutral jump, and shoot him. As long as you time your jumps, it's a two-button boss fight. This strategy will put you right to the top. Man. Subscribe for more. Sparkman from Mega Man 3. His weapon is Spark Shot, and he is weak to Shadow Blade. Sparkman was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily to charge equipment that ran out of electricity. Sparkman also has an unusual fascination with catfish and electric eels. Sparkman starts with 1-3 to three jumps and then he'll stop to attack. He'll generate small spark shots which each fly away in 8 directions, and then he creates a bigger spark shot which he can shoot directly at the player. So to avoid Sparkman you can slide under his jumps and jump over his tiny or big projectiles, and you can even just stand still and you'll avoid the small shot on flat ground. Overall Sparkman is one of the easiest bosses in the game. He's so easy I can use this time and tell you that Sparkman's fascination for catfish is a reference to the electric catfish, known for their ability to naturally produce electricity for up to 350 volts. For no damage loops against Sparkman, stand under his little shot, slide under him, and jump over his big spark shot. Sparkman is slow and gives you tons of time to react. While dodging, you have plenty of time to shoot, so find that loop and rinse and repeat. This boss is so electrifying that this tutorial will light up your day like a spark. Man. Subscribe for more. Tommy Goro Maker from Mega Man 3. Its weapon is cute little turtles and has multiple weaknesses. Tommy Goro Maker was created by Dr. Wily. It's an invincible machine that moves on rails and releases robotic turtles called Tommy Goros. Tommy Goros were originally created to verify the quality of water. Tommy Goro Maker is usually in water so the turtles can swim diagonally. When there's no waters, the turtles will just flop on the ground fast and can still be dodged. Tommy Goro Maker itself moves along a horizontal rail above the water, immune to conventional attacks. There are a total of five Kami Goros that will get sent out. So to avoid Kami Goro Maker, I suggest standing against the wall so you don't have to watch the front and back at the same time. Anticipate the turtles poking out and get ready to shoot. And remember, fights with and without water are completely different. Overall, Kami Goro Maker can be pretty easy if you have decent weapons and some space to dodge. For no damage loops against Kami Goro Maker, again, just put your back against the wall and just anticipate the turtles' release. Find a weapon that preferably one-shots them and jump up and shoot them. Or if you can diagonally shoot them, you can snipe them. Kame, Hame, er, Kame Goro Maker. Subscribe for more. Toadman from Mega Man 4. His weapon is Rain Flush and he is weak to Drill Bomb. Toadman was created by Dr. Mikhail Cossack for irrigation of crops during periods of drought. Toadman is also tone deaf and enjoys jumping in his free time. Toadman starts by leaping onto the player or using Rain Flush. If left alone, Toadman will stand still forever. If the player shoots while he's standing, he'll leap onto the player's position. If Toadman stands for too long, he will start dancing and use Rain Flush. If the player shoots Toadman while he's dancing, Rain Flush gets cancelled. So to avoid Toadman, you can keep shooting him to keep him from jumping, or you can just wait until he dances and then shoot him. You can also do the Toadman dance and just walk back and forth. Overall, Toadman is probably one of the easiest bosses in the whole series. Oh, and Toadman also gets somewhat uncomfortable when he's in the presence of Snake Man. For no damage loops against Toadman, just lock him into position by only shooting when he dances. If there's one boss you don't need a tutorial for, it's Toadman. But I'm glad you guys are finding these tutorials helpful, or at least that's what I've been told. Man. Subscribe for more. Pharaoh Man from Mega Man 4. His weapon is Pharaoh Shot, and he is weak to Flash Stopper. Ferroman was created by Dr. Cossack. He has high resistance, agility, and adaptability in the dark. Ferroman also is a charismatic leader and a treasure hunter. Ferroman has multiple attacks. He can do two jumps in one direction, a short jump, and a higher jump. At the peak of each jump, he will throw a little Pharaoh shot. He can also do very high jumps that will land on the player, but he won't throw anything. Ferroman can also charge a big Pharaoh shot and shoot it while standing. So to avoid Ferroman, anticipate his initial shots and slide under him as he dashes towards you. From there, you probably want to assume that he's going to jump at you, so always be ready to move out of the way. Overall, Ferroman can be tricky if you don't react properly, or if you just get lucky, he'll spam his charge attack, allowing for faster fights. For no damage loops against Pharaoh Man, just dodge his initial shots and get ready to dodge more. Just maintain damage on him while dodging and be ready to move out of the way. Once you learn his pattern, it can be quite fun. After seeing this tutorial, you'll be ruling like a pharaoh. Man. Subscribe for more. Ring Man from Mega Man 4. His weapon is Ring Boomerang and he is weak to Pharaoh Shot. Ringman was created by Dr. Cossack to specifically terminate Mega Man in Mega Man 4. Ringman is also a clever strategist who is confident in his abilities. Ringman starts by throwing his Ring Boomerang forward. The Ring Boomerang goes straight ahead until it crosses the player's position, which will then return to Ringman. After throwing the Ring Boomerang on the ground, he will jump straight up, throw a second Ring Boomerang in the midair. And when he lands, he'll run to the player's position, and once he overshoots it a little bit, he'll restart the pattern. So to avoid Ringman, just focus on his movement and avoiding his rings. Overall, Ringman can be a cakewalk once you learn his loops. Ringman is also good at a game called Quoits. Quoits is a traditional game that involves throwing rings near a spike. Also, he hates children. 
For no damage loops against Ringman, just jump over his rings and then jump over him and then jump over his rings again, all while doing damage. Rinse and repeat with ease. If you're having any problems fighting this boss, just give me a ring. Man. Subscribe for more. Skullman from Mega Man 4. His weapon is Skull Barrier and he is weak to Dust Crusher. Skullman is a robot master created specifically for combat with a balanced offense and defense by Dr. Kasa. He's also a huge fan of horror movies. Skullman's attack is based on the player's actions. If the player moves while he's stationary, Skullman will aim his buster and fire three shots in a row. If the player shoots while he's stationary, Skullman will high jump or low jump in the player's general direction. Once he lands, he will put up a skull barrier. The skull barrier completely protects Skullman from the buster even if they shoot through the shield. So to avoid Skullman, practice jumping around his bullets with either little jumps or big jumps, and then be ready to jump over him when he charges at you. Overall, Skullman hits like a friggin' truck and can be challenging. For no damage loops on Skullman, just focus on weaving through his bullets and shooting him when his skull shield is down. Unfortunately, you are at the mercy of Skullman's barrier as you can't do anything while it's active. And remember, only shoot him when his shield is down. And when in doubt, just aim for the skull. Man. Subscribe for more. Cossack Catcher, originally from Mega Man 4. His weapon is a big ass claw and he's weak to Dust Crusher. Dr. Cossack based Cossack Catcher design on games that he was good at when he was younger. Like a claw machine game, the claw machine hand is capable of causing heavy damage. Cossack Catcher starts by remaining stationary for several seconds so the player can get their bearings. Cossack Catcher's main movement is simple, hovering left to right on top of the screen while always adjusting itself to be higher or lower before moving. During the movement, the side cannons of Cossack's Catcher will fire after 2 to 3 seconds of waiting and they'll shoot 3 shots that spread outward. The Catcher will also try to grab you if you're standing directly under it. Once it grabs you, you cannot shoot and you have to wait to be slammed onto the ground. So to avoid Cossack Catcher, always stay out from underneath him and wait for him to get low enough. Overall, Cossack Catcher can be quite trolly as you have to wait a lot to do some damage. Damage. For no damage loops on Cossack Catcher, just keep moving him to the other side of the screen by manipulating his position. Dodge his spread shot, and when you're too close to a wall, just try not to trap yourself. It's like a ball sack catcher, but it's Cossack Catcher. Subscribe for more. Wily Machine 4 for Mega Man 4. His weapon is energy balls, and he's weak to ring boomerang. Wily Machine's Dr. Wily's fourth Wily Machine, a skull-shaped flying machine that shoots energy balls from its mouth. It appears as the final boss in Wily Castle in Mega Man 4. Wily Machine 4 has two phases, however, the second phase will be explained in a future tutorial. The first phase is a giant skull-shaped face, which is the boss's weak point. It hovers up and down without any horizontal movement, and it attacks by shooting large purple energy shots from its mouth. It always attacks shooting three balls in a row. So to avoid Wily Machine 4, simply Big Boy jump over his balls. Wily's balls are big and slow, so you have plenty of time to jump over them with Big Boy jumps. Overall, Wily Machine 4 can be challenging if you do not respect Wily's balls. Mega Man wishes his balls were this big. Energy balls, of course. For no damage loops against Wily Machine 4, simply shoot Wily while jumping over his big balls. Wily's balls are big, but they are nothing Mega Man can't handle. Again, energy balls. So remember, one doctor, two phases, three balls, Wily Machine 4. Subscribe for more. Stone Man from Mega Man 5. His weapon is Power Stone and he's weak to Napalm Bomb. Stone Man was created by Dr. Wily to look like and be as tough as a bunch of bricks. Stone Man is strong-willed and stubborn and enjoys watching movies and drinking oil with Gutsman. Stone Man starts the fight by jumping and shooting Power Stone. He spends almost the entire fight jumping in Mega Man's general direction, though he won't always aim and land on his position, usually just getting closer. He has two types of jumps. The first is short in height, while the second is a much higher jump. Upon landing from this high jump, Stone Man shakes the screen, which does not stun the player, and collapses into a pile of bricks, or stones. So to avoid Stone Man, just bait out his jumps and assume his position. Or just do the Stone Man dance, which allows you to double stack your buster and deal two damage instead of one as he falls on both lemons. Overall, Stone Man is obviously the coolest, smartest. For no damage loops against Stone Man, just shoot him before he crumbles. Once he jumps at you, tiptoe away and get ready to shoot again. Hope for good RNG and you can end the fight quick. Follow these tips or the boss will be tough as stone. Man. Subscribe for more. Charge Man from Mega Man 5. His weapon is Charge Kick and he is weak to Power Stone. Charge Man was created by Dr. Wily, and Wily based him off of an old steam locomotive, which is used by camouflage to make shipments to areas occupied by Dr. Wily. Charge Man starts the fight by using Charge Kick to race towards the player's position at a fast speed, invincible while charging. Once he stops his charge, he'll walk towards the player. His walking speed is slow, but he can turn around at any point. The player can usually jump over him safely. If the player is far away, he'll turn red, which makes him invincible and can shoot coal from his chimney. It'll make a toot noise. So to avoid Charge Man, always anticipate his charge, constantly jump over him, and don't let him trap you in the corner. If he toots, try to dodge the coal and prepare for his next attack. Overall, Charge Man can be fun once you learn to adapt his charges and walk speed. Charge Man also has a one-track mind and loves telling 
telling old stories and hates railway signs. For no damage loops against Charge Man, walk away from him while being mindful of his charge attack and his cold. As long as you're walking away or sliding away, you can easily deal damage while evading. And now that you've mastered this tutorial, you can show him who's in charge. Man. Subscribe for more. Napalm Man from Mega Man 5. His weapon is Napalm Bomb and he's weak to Crystal Eye. Napalm Man was created by Dr. Wily to protect his secret weapons factory. Napalm Man is also a weapons enthusiast equipped with an array of explosive weapons. Napalm Man has two attacks, missiles and napalm bombs. If the player is too far away from him, Napalm Man will fire missiles from his head to travel forward in a straight line, always shooting three missiles one by one. If the player is too close to him, Napalm Man will shoot up two napalm bombs, also known as potatoes, in an arc in the air so they land close to Mega Man's position. And yes, we call these napalm bombs potatoes. So to avoid Napalm Man, always be ready for his missile shots and expect his potatoes. Overall, Napalm Man can be a very easy fight once you're practiced. For no damage loops against Napalm Man, just keep going left and right with him and when he shoots missiles, just do three little jumps over him. And when he lobs potatoes, slide past them and wait for him to land on the ground. Now that you mastered the fight, you can be as strong as Chuck Norris and drink Napalm Man. Subscribe for more. Crystal Man from Mega Man 5. His weapon is Crystal Eye and he is weak to gyro attack. Crystal Man was created by Dr. Wily predominantly to help finance his operations through the creation of artificial crystals to sell. Crystal Man is also skilled in the art of illusion and fortune telling. Crystal Man moves by jumping, usually to the center of the screen and traveling a short distance horizontally. He spends the entire fight jumping, but has two attacks that are determined by player proximity. If the player is too close to him, Crystal Man will pause at the apex of his jump to charge and release a single shot, which is fired in a straight line, loosely aimed at Mega Man's position. If the player is far away, Crystal Man will jump to the very top of the ceiling and use Crystal Light. So to avoid Crystal Man, walk away or slide around his crystals while avoiding Crystal Man himself. Overall, Crystal Man can be one of the hardest bosses in the game to do no damage because of Crystal Eye Span. He's the perfect boss to practice spacing with. For no damage loops against Crystal Man, always be mindful of where his projectiles are. Slide under him and pass his Crystal Eyes while laying on damage. Try to avoid the corners of the boss room as well. I hope you find this information as valuable as a crystal. Man. Subscribe for more. Dark Man 3 for Mega Man 5. His weapon is Paralyzation Rings and he is weak to Gyro Attack. Darkman 3 was created by Dr. Wily to assassinate Mega Man and Mega Man 5. Darkman 3 is also a sniper type model. He has a right arm cannon that can rapid fire. Darkman 3 starts by inching forward in short walks. He has two attacks, but he uses them based on player proximity. If the player is far away, he'll jump high into the air and stay in place at the apex of his jump and rapid fire five shots from his sniper cannon. If the player is too close to Darkman 3, he'll fire three rings that paralyze Mega Man. So to avoid Darkman 3, always be mindful of his freeze attacks and try to bait out his rings. Overall, Darkman 3 can be a pain in the butt, especially if you don't know how to dodge him and he freezes you. You can also get frozen infinitely. For no damage loops against Darkman 3, run or slide past his rapid fire shots and try to bait out his attack. You can get loops off his rapid fire or get loops off his paralyzing rings attack. Once you get the rhythm and learn the spacing of the fight, you'll never get hit. And now that you master this fight, you will no longer be left in the dark. Man. Three. Subscribe for more. Darkman 4 from Mega Man 5. His weapon is Electromagnetic Barrier and he is weak to Power Stone. Or Beat. Darkman 4 was created by Dr. Wily to be the superior model, made to be the strongest of the four. Darkman 4 also impersonates Proto Man without a scarf. Darkman 4 combines the attacks from all of Darkman into his own pattern. He can do Darkman 1's Quick Buster, Darkman's 2 Electromagnetic Barrier, and Darkman's 3 High Jump. So to avoid Darkman 4, jump over his barrier and also his bullets. They'll come out rather fast, so be ready to jump over at a moment's notice. His barrier will go off screen and then come back on screen, so always be mindful of this as well. Overall, Darkman 4 can be tricky if you aren't keeping up with his attacks. For no damage loops against Darkman 4, simply jump over his barriers on the way in and out. Also, jump over his shots while you do damage. Keep your eye on his attacks and keep your buster charged. You can do baby jumps to jump over his rapid fire shots, or you can do big boy jumps to jump over his barriers. You can also shoot him through his shield if you time it right, but it's kind of a shot in the dark. Man 4. Subscribe for more. Big Pets from Mega Man 5. His weapon is miniature robots and he is weak to crystal eye. Big Pets is an amusement park guide robot that was stolen and modified for combat by Dr. Wily. Big Pets is also known as Bigu Petsu. Big Pets is made up of usually two body segments, which will have spikes on each side that don't insta-kill the player. However, it's Mega Man Maker, so you can make Big Pets fight with as many body segments as the game allows. The body segments double as platforms and allows Mega Man to shoot them and jump them to reach the head of Big Pets, which is of course the weak point. While shooting his body, you can gain access to his head and he'll shoot miniature robots from the heavens. So to avoid Big Pets, just focus on shooting his body, then jumping up his body to climb higher. Rinse and repeat these jumps until you're at the top and make sure you're paying attention to the mini robots the whole time. Overall, Big Pets can be super fun if you have a good rhythm. 
For no damage loops against big pets, focus on not getting hit by the spikes as you shoot the body segments, and if you're fast enough, you can land two hits per cycle. Shoutouts to the level Pettis Maximus, ID 539266. This level's for big boys with big pets. Subscribe for more. Flame Man for Mega Man 6. His weapon is Flame Blast, and he's weak to Windstorm. Flame Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X to generate a large amount of thermal power. Flame Man is very punctual, and he changes his oil three times a day. Flame Man only moves around by jumping high into the air, and the distance of his jump is varied. In between jumps, he has two attacks he can use. His first is to shoot three fireballs forward in a straight line. Flame Man's second and more dangerous attack is to utilize his Flame Blast technique. He plunges his buster into the ground and causes various pillars to fire to erupt in front of him. And of course, there's also safe spots that you can stand during the pillar's attack. Overall, Flame Man can be tricky if he gives you some crazy RNG. For no damage loops against Flame Man, just try to stay away from him. He'll always try to jump near you, so be mindful of your spacing. Also, anytime that you're in an arena where there's oil, he can ignite the oil, which will one-hit KO you. Deal damage when he's shooting his fireballs, and try not to shoot the flame pillars. And if you ever have a water weapon, it's usually the weakness. So, extinguish the flame, man. Subscribe for more. Nightman for Mega Man 6. His weapon is Night Crusher, and he is weak to Yamato Spear. Nightman was reprogrammed by Mr. X to resemble a medieval knight with resistant armor. It's also said that Nightman's defeated a thousand robots in duels. Nightman's main gimmick is that he keeps a big shield in front of him most of the time while being a huge pain in the ass. He can move by jumping high in the air, and he does really big jumps from far away or does smaller jumps in a short distance. He can also just kind of walk you down with his shield like a bully. He also has a projectile attack with a flail. When he shoots it at Mega Man's position, it goes back to him. So to avoid Nightman, just always jump away from him, but don't lock yourself in a corner. Always be mindful of his jumps and jump over his mace. Overall, Nightman is one of the hardest bosses in the game and could be a huge bully that demands the player's respect. For no damage loops against Nightman, always try to shoot him on his way down from a jump or while his mace projectile is active. You can also jump up and shoot him in the back before he lands. For more information on bosses, you can simply watch my live streams in the day or watch my YouTube videos at night, man. Subscribe for more. Plant Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Plant Barrier and he is weak to Blizzard Attack. Plant Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X as a flower, which can be used as camouflage. He was originally created as a keeper of a botanical garden. Plant Man has a very simple and repetitive pattern. He starts by activating Plant Barrier, which is a shield of petals that protects him from all attacks. Plant Man then jumps a great distance in one direction, either towards Mega Man or away from him. He also bounces off walls and collides with them. As soon as he lands, Plant Man will throw his Plant Barrier forward in Mega Man's general direction, while standing in place. Once Plant Barrier leaves the screen, Plant Man will run towards Mega Man's position and repeat the whole pattern again. So to avoid Plant Man, just simply jump over his Plant Barrier, and then wait for him, and then jump over him. Overall, Plant Man is a simple fight and very straightforward. For no damage loops against Plant Man, wait for him to throw a shield and then you can get an average of two shots in before he equips the next one. Or three if you're greedy. Don't forget you can also shoot lemons in between the shield with precise shots or mashing. Just keep watching these tutorials and your skills will grow like a plant. And subscribe for more. Wind Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Windstorm and he is weak to Centaur Flash. Windman was stolen and reprogrammed by Mr. X to work in agriculture, helping in harvest. He's also a skilled cook, a martial artist, and enjoys kung fu movies. Windman has three attacks. His main attack is to try and make sucky sucky and deal contact damage. He can also attack by shooting two propellers, one up and one down, and they cross each other. He can also lift himself off the ground with jet engines and try to land on top of Mega Man. So to avoid Windman, just jump over his propeller projectiles and then slide away from his sucky sucky attack. Even if you don't have slide, you can walk away from the sucky sucky. When he moves in the air, stay underneath him and slide to the other side. Overall, Windman is a simple boss and you can take advantage of his sucky sucky and make some challenging fights with it. Sucky sucky. Sucky sucky. For no damage loops against Windman, shoot him while he's moving towards you, after his projectile shots, and during his sucky sucky. Focus his distance and projectile awareness. Once you master his loops, you'll feel as smooth as a dove in the wind. Man. Subscribe for more. Yamato Man from Mega Man 6. His weapon is Yamato Spear, and he's weak to Silver Tomahawk. Yamato Man was reprogrammed by Mr. X as a combat robot master who was modeled after a samurai warrior. He's also shy, bad with money, and collects swords. Yamato Man has two patterns. The first is to spin a spear in place, immediately launching a spearhead forward in a straight line. The second is to jump high in the air while spinning his spear, generally aiming it at Mega Man's general position. If he does one attack twice in a row, that means he's always going to do the other attack. So to avoid Yamato Man, jump over his spear, then jump over him. Overall, Yamato Man is pretty straightforward since he only has two attacks. He's as straight as a spear. 
for no damage loops against your model man, anticipate his attack, stay aware of his triple shot angles, and jump over his straight shot, all while doing damage. When he jumps in the air and shoots three spears at you, don't be afraid to pause buffer and then be able to see where they come from. Also, don't let him run you over. It's like getting hit by a potato pan, but it's your mato man. You get it? Potato pan? You mato man? Subscribe for more. Takawawi. Wily Machine 6 from Mega Man 6. His weapon is blue orbs and he is weak to silver tomahawk. Takawawi. Wily Machine 6 is a spike machine based on Wily Press from Mega Man 5 and also shows up in Mega Man 7. Takawawi. Wily Machine 6 has three phases. Its first phase moves by jumping from one side to the other in a repetitive pattern. In between jumps, it'll fire three blue projectiles. These projectiles are orbs and launch one by one in a spread, high angle, middle angle, and low angle. While the second phase can jump shorter distances, target the middle of the screen, and the projectile counts reduced to just one. And for the final phase, Wily is in this capsule and disappears and reappears shooting four blue orbs from his body. Dakawawi. So to avoid Wily Machine, just be mindful of where he'll land and where his projectiles will go. Overall, Wily Machine 6 can be somewhat a troll. For no damage loops against Wily Machine 6, slide to the other side where Wily moves and shoot him while he's shooting you. For the final phase, just try to find a weapon that does most damage or can hit Wily in the air. This fight is certainly not willy-nilly, it's Wily Machine 6. Subscribe for more. Freeze Man from Mega Man 7. His weapon is Freeze Crack Up and he is weak to Junk Shield. Freeze Crack Up, Freeze Crack Up. Freeze Man was created by Dr. Wily, however, he was originally built as a prototype for non polluting energy. He's also a perfectionist, makes poses, and likes Ice Man. Freeze Man starts the fight by taunting Mega Man to pull out the first move. If Mega Man jumps, he'll run at Mega Man before starting his pattern, and if he shoots, he'll immediately start the pattern. First, Freeze Man will attack with Freeze Cracker. It's avoided, of course, by jumping over it. But then Freeze Man can jump in the air and shoot to the ground and freeze the floor if Mega Man's standing there. And finally, he'll use Freeze Cracker to summon some icicles and repeat his attack pattern. The icicles will destroy the icy floor. And also, if ice covers spikes, you can stand on spikes. Overall, Freeze Man is one of the best and coolest bosses in the game, pun intended, because of his attack pattern. For no damage loops against Freeze Man, you want to shoot him, which causes him to jump and then go underneath him. As long as you're aware of this trick, you can always dodge him. Against Freeze Man, it is critical to keep moving. Do not sit there and freeze. Man. Subscribe for more. Spring Man from Mega Man 7. His weapon is Wild Coil, and he's weak to Slash Claw. Spring Man was created by Dr. Wily. His body is made up over 2,000 springs, which makes him light and can jump high. However, he has problems going down steps. Springman starts by full jumping to the ceiling two times. At the apex of his jump, he'll punch Mega Man from full screen, twice. Once he lands, he'll shoot two bouncing springs on each side of him. These springs bounce off the walls and last the entire fight, so make sure you shoot them. So to avoid Springman, just be mindful of where he jumps from and to. He'll always be jumping and he'll occasionally punch you, which you can dodge by walking left or right. Overall, Springman is super lame and a simple boss. However, he does have a special gimmick. If you shoot him with an electric weapon, he turns into a cinnamon bun and pulls Mega Man towards him. For no damage loops against Spring Man, avoid him when he's jumping and fisting, and make sure you shoot him when he lands. You can also shoot him on the way up and get some good DPS in with perfect timings. I hope you guys are enjoying these boss videos. I'll be releasing them all spring. Man. Subscribe for more. Shade Man from Mega Man 7. His weapon is Noise Crush and he is weak to Wild Coil. Shade Man, built to look like a vampire, was stolen from a haunted house by Dr. Wily and uses sound waves to control human minds. He also likes to hang upside down on ceilings. Shade Man starts by flying up to the ceiling and then fly side to side multiple times. He may dive at Mega Man, and if he grabs you during his sucky sucky attack, he'll drain your life. After he lands, he shoots two petrifying stair beams and then attacks with Noise Crush twice. One up and one down. When the Noise Crush hits the wall, it returns to him and charges up his next attack. So to avoid Shade Man, bait out his sucky sucky attack as he dashes in and then jump over his array of projectiles. Overall, Shade Man could be a troll if he waits too long in the ceiling, his sucky sucky attack sucks, and he can turn you into stone, which is pretty cool though. For no damage loops against Shade Man, get a shot off as he flies to the ceiling, wait about 45 minutes for him to land, and then keep up the damage while jumping over his shots. Also, special thanks to anyone who comments on this video, you are cooler than Shade Man. Subscribe for more! Astro Man from Mega Man 8, his weapon's Astro Crush and he's weak to homing sniper. Astro Man was built to work on a planetarium, but Wily reprogrammed him for combat. Astro Man also is the world champion at hide and seek. Also, this Astro Man is completely different from Rockman and Forte Astro Man. 
Astro Man starts by having the longest starting animation in the game. He has a 30 minute intro animation. So once he's ready to fight, he'll go up in the air and he'll either rain down Astro Crushes from the sky, which also takes about 30 minutes, or he'll swing down from the air with two levitating orbs around him. The orbs will start orbiting around the area and Astro Man will also shoot in Mega Man's general direction. So to avoid Astro Man's slide or walk in between Astro Crush spam, overall Astro Man is arguably the trolliest boss in the game next to Sheep Man and soon to be Galaxy Man, who's coming next update. For no damage loops against Astro Man, just hope for good RNG. If he gives you 13 Astro Crushes in a row, then you just can't play the game. But when he lets you play the game, just jump and shoot. This boss is definitely a huge pain in the ass. Troll Man. Ass Troll Man. Astro Man. Subscribe for more. Grenade Man from Mega Man 8. His weapon is Flash Bomb and he's weak to Thunderclaw. Oh yeah! Grenade Man was visually designed by Dr. Wily after an MK2 grenade or a pineapple bomb. Grenade Man also has a special overdrive system allowing him to move quickly. Grenade Man has a very complex moveset. He can either dash towards Mega Man from going wall to wall, he can shoot flash bombs straight at Mega Man's direction, and once the flash bomb hits a wall, a bunch of steel beams and debris start falling from the sky, or he can do a diagonal jump and lob grenades, and he can also wall cling and shoot an angled flash bomb. Plus, once you get him past half health, he has a special attack and he shoots four big bombs on the floor and they explode in a huge radius. So to avoid Grenade Man, just get good. Overall, Grenade Man is arguably the best buster-only boss fight in the entire game. For no damage loops against Grenade Man, you'll have to find all the sweet spots to stand. Jump over his bombs, walk under his lob shot, and dodge his big explosion. Experience will help you more in this fight than this tutorial will, but I still hope you find this information as explosive as a grenade, man. That felt good! Concrete Man from Mega Man 9. His weapon is Concrete Shot and he's weak to Laser Trident. Concrete Man was reprogrammed by Dr. Wily in an attempt to take over the world. Concrete Man was also called Cement Man during production, and his weapon would have been called Cement Shot. Semen Shot. Concrete Man starts by doing one of three moves. He can jump up and butt pound the ground causing Mega Man to stagger, he can dash towards Mega Man and hitting a wall, or he can shoot three concrete shots that freeze Mega Man in place. So to avoid Concrete Man, always be ready to jump over his dash and away from his concrete shots. And when he butt slams, just make sure you neutral jump so you do not receive the effects from the stagger. You can also slide across his concrete shots on the ground. Overall, Concrete Man is one of the harder bosses in the game because of his arsenal. In my opinion, he's one of the best buster only boss fights in the game. For no damage loops against Concrete Man, always be ready to move. Just try to focus on his dash and focus on his cement shots. As long as you're ready to jump away from either of those, you'll be in good shape. And try not to corner yourself. Once you do learn his moveset, you'll be solid like Concrete Man. Subscribe for more. Tornado Man from Mega Man 9. His weapon is Tornado Blow and he's weak to Plug Ball. Tornado Man was created by Dr. Light and his job was stationed at a weather regulation facility. The fans on his arms allow him to stay above tropical storms. During production, he was originally going to be Weather Man. Tornado Man starts by shooting two sets of tornado blows, which consists of four gusts traveling upwards across the screen. During this attack, Mega Man's jump height is increased. Once he shoots two sets of tornado blows, he'll jump straight up and shoot either zero, one, or two more times, and then he'll land in Mega Man's general position. So to avoid Tornado Man, walk half a tile of space away or so as he shoots and you'll be exactly one tile between two of his tornadoes. Once you land up, you can move another one tile for perfect spacing. Overall, Tornado Man is a super fun fight, however, some say Tornado Man blows. For no damage loops against Tornado Man, focus on tiny movements and you can stand calmly through his shots allowing you to get in big damage. Once he's in the air, you can use his low gravity effect and get up high and keep up the damage. Also look out for spikes, just do not get hit by a tornado. Man. Subscribe for more! Splash Woman from Mega Man 9. Her weapon is Laser Trident and she is weak to Hornet Chaser. Bees! Splash Woman was created by Dr. Light to rescue swimmers from sinking ships. Splash Woman also has a beautiful voice and is fond of karaoke. Splash Woman starts by whistling to call it a barrage of fish and while she zigzags full screen upwards towards the top of the ceiling. The fish spawn in sets of three and can be destroyed, however they don't drop anything. Once she's on the top of the screen or on top of the water, she will rain down laser tridents vertically from the sky. If Splash Woman is not in water, she will not move at all, however just like Bubble Man, she will still shoot towards the player. So to avoid Splash Woman, full jump over her fish, zigzag to dodge her shots and sink in damage when it's convenient. For no damage loops against Splash Woman, jump over her fish while shooting and also shoot when she's moving up and when she gets to the top of the screen and when she lands. If you fight her out of water, just jump over her tridents as she shoots them. Also, can you believe my girlfriend asked why I spend so much time on these videos? So I said, growing on YouTube is hard. I'm trying to make a splash, woman. Subscribe for more. Pump Man from Mega Man 10. His weapon is Water Shield and he's weak to Thunder Wolf. Puppman was created by Dr. Wily and worked at a wastewater treatment plant, purifying all the water. Puppman also washes off graffiti in his local neighborhood and is a neat freak. 
Pubman starts by creating a water shield, and then he can jump up to three times in a row with his water shield around him. He'll then start side jumping, and once he's done, he'll jump straight up and unleash his water shield, which shoots outward in a counterclockwise spiral in eight different directions. After he shoots his water shield, he will re-equip another one and rinse and repeat the pattern. So to avoid Puntman, walk away from him and his spread shot. Give yourself enough space to react to his bubbles. Overall, Puntman can be a simple fight as long as the boss arena isn't too congested. You definitely need room against this boss. Puntman takes up a lot of screen real estate. For no damage loops against Puntman, just charge up your buster and take out a ton of his bubbles and move in where the water shield is broken. Walk under him when he jumps and walk away from his spread shot. Oh, and if you have concrete shot, you can just do this. Now that is how you pump, man. Subscribe for more. Cheat Man from Mega Man 10. His weapon is Thunderwool and he is weak to Rebound Striker. Cheat Man was created by Dr. Wily as a sheep herding robot and worked in a static resistance test division of circuit board manufacturers. He is also incredibly soft. Cheat Man starts by shooting you with a horizontal electric projectile, and then he'll turn into four clouds of wool and hover in the air. The clouds go in a random direction and a random height, and only one of the four clouds has Sheet Man hiding in it. The clouds will take turns shooting down electricity vertically, and it spreads to two tiles on either side when it hits the ground. Once Sheet Man lands, he'll either go back into cloud form or shoot with a high or low electric projectile. So to avoid Sheet Man, try to stand on one side of the room to bait out his clouds into clustering, and then prepare to jump over the ground electric shots after he shoots. For no damage loops against Sheet Man, cycle for a weapon that can hit him in the air and try to avoid the cloud spam. And try to focus on keeping him out of cloud form. Sheet Man fights can be bad if there's multiple Sheet Men. Also, please keep commenting on these videos as well. Don't be a sheep, man. Subscribe for more. Strike Man from Mega Man 10. His weapon is Rebound Striker and he is weak to Triple Blade. Strike Man was created by Dr. Wily as a batting practice robot for a stadium before he malfunctioned due to Roboenza. Strike Man also gets upset when he gives up too many hits. Strike Man starts by throwing Rebound Striker at you. It will hit the walls and continue to bounce around, getting stronger each time it bounces. Right after he throws it, he will turn into ball form and then bounce towards Mega Man three times before throwing the next ball. Strike Man can also neutral jump high and throw an angled ball that bounces off the floor first, which moves in a different pattern. So to avoid Strike Man, jump over his projectile and walk or slide under him as he makes his way towards you. Overall, Strike Man can be a bully and do tons of damage if you are not comfortable focusing on him and his balls. balls. For no damage loops against Strike Man, you really want to manipulate him and his balls. balls. You can manipulate Strike Man and his balls in a general direction and then move away from them. Balls. Once you get a feel for it and get a rhythm going, it's pretty consistent. You guys better be leaving thumbs up on this video, or I'm gonna go on Strike Man. Subscribe for more! Blast Man from Mega Man 11. His weapon is Chain Blast and he is weak to Blazing Torch. Last man was captured and reprogrammed by Dr. Wily, but before being captured, he was creating explosive attractions for a theme park. He's also short-tempered. Last man starts by throwing five bombs into the air, and then will act like he's gonna rush all the way in towards Mega Man, but then jumps back and throws five more. Last man can also shoot a chain of four bombs together in a diamond shape that will home in towards the player. Last man also has an enraged timer, which will be active once he's past half health. During his enraged startup, he cannot be damaged, so to avoid Blast Man, just stand between his bomb shots and always be mindful of your spacing. Overall, Blast Man is one of the more challenging fights in the game. For no damage loops against Blast Man, find the sweet spots to stand in and unleash some damage. Don't be afraid to pause buffer for more reaction time, too. Against his Chain Blast, slide to the other side of the room and then stay away from him. He's certainly one of the more busier fights in the game. Once you practice this enough, you'll get more comfortable how to dodge his bombs. I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos as much as I enjoy making them. It's a blast, man. Blast, man. Subscribe for more. Bounce Man from Mega Man 11. His weapon is Bounce Ball and he's weak to Pile Driver. Bounce Man was repurposed for combat by Dr. Wily. However, he was originally developed as a crash test robot, but his stretching and bouncing abilities led him to become a fitness instructor. Bounce Man starts by bouncing around a little bit before he punches you. His arms can stretch as far as you are away from him and deal a ton of damage. After attempting to punch, he will bounce some more and rinse and repeat the pattern. Bounce Man can also bounce off your shots when you shoot him. He also has an enraged timer and will go really fast in ball form once his health is below half. And in this form, he will spin and move all the way around the room. So to avoid Bounce Man, stay somewhat in the corner, but be ready to move out of the way at a moment's notice. During his enraged form, you'll have to anticipate his position and set up shots in advance. Overall, Bounce Man is the biggest robot master in the game and is quite fun to kill. For no damage loops against Bounce Man, focus on his movement, keep up the damage, and shoot him as he gets close to you. Also, don't be afraid to use Pause Buffer in this fight, he goes all over the place really fast. Whenever you guys leave a nice comment in these videos, I get so excited I can bounce. Man, subscribe for more. Cold Man from Mega Man and Base. His weapon is Ice Wall and he is weak to Lightning Bolt. 
Cold Mint was originally a refrigerator used to preserve prehistoric DNA from dinosaurs in Dr. Light's lab, but then he was modified by King. He was also called Freezer Man in development. Cold Man starts by using a spiked ice wall that he creates by opening the freezer in his body. The ice walls bounce from wall to wall while sliding on the ground. Once he's around half health, he releases Mokumokumo enemies from his head and slows the player's movement. These little buggers are harder than the boss himself, but they are cute little clouds. So to avoid Cold Man, jump over his ice wall on the way in and out and be mindful of his cloud spawns. Overall, Cold Man is very easy until his clouds come out. If you don't focus on those, you'll be in for an annoying fight. Some say he's one of the coolest bosses no damage loops against Cold Man, stand around mid-screen, jump over his ice wall and shoot him. Rinse and repeat until his cloud spawns and then kill the cloud. This fight is very straightforward. Feel free to leave a nice warm comment in the comment section. There is no reason to be so cold, man. Subscribe for more. Pirate Man from Mega Man and Base. His weapon is Remote Mine and he's weak to Wave Burner. Pirate Man is a part of King's army with the appearance of a pirate cap. He was created to attack cargo vessels at sea. Pirate Man also eats a lot of fast food at Arby's. Pirate Man starts by filling the screen with water as a specialty. He can then shoot remote mines at you in sets of three, or he can turn into a bubble and fly straight across the room or in a zigzag formation. He bounces on the ceiling and then bounces on the floor and it goes all over the place. As Pirate Man moves around the room, the water will lower and Pirate Man will eventually fill the room back up. So to avoid Pirate Man, jump over his remote mines and stay away from his bubble attacks. You can also shoot him out of his bubble. Overall, Pirate Man is an extremely unique boss fight and is usually very fun. For no damage loops against Pirate Man, always try to keep him out of bubble form and deal damage to him as he's shooting remote mines. Try not to corner yourself and when he's flying around the room, make sure you deal damage to him when he's filling the water back up. Also, don't forget, Mega Man Maker is a free game, so no need to pirate. Man. Subscribe for more. Burner Man from Mega Man and Base. His weapon is Wave Burner and he is weak to Ice Wall. Burner Man was tricked by King into believing that he must burn a forest every day or else a self-destruct bomb inside of him will explode. Burner Man is also based on the Bunsen Burner. Burner Man has a wide variety of moves in his arsenal. He starts by dashing towards the player and then turns around and dashes in the opposite direction. He'll do this either once or twice. He can also throw grenades, go up in the air, crashing down to the ground, or use his flamethrower attack. If he uses his flamethrower attack, try not to be in the corner or he will lock you down. He can also throw traps on the ground that will grab the player. So to avoid Burner Man, prepare to dodge a lot. Always anticipate his dash and stay away from his bombs and traps. Overall, Burner Man is one of the hardest bosses in the whole game. For no damage loops against Burner Man, find his weakness or keep up with the charge shot. Shoot him as he dashes in and as he throws grenades. Also, if he gives you his flamethrower attack, you'll want to shoot him as he lands on top of it. His flamethrower attack is easily his best attack. Keep this video handy when you're ready to fight him. Maybe just keep it on the back burner. Man. Subscribe for more. Anchor, originally from Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge for Game Boy. His weapon's Mirror Buster and he's weak to Mega Buster. Anchor is the first robot master in the Mega Man Killer series, built by Dr. Wily. Anchor is also cold, gloomy, and antisocial and is an ass kicker. Anchor always does actions that make him go back and forth across the room. He can move to the other side by either doing one full jump or two small jumps. He also runs really fast. Once he gets to the other side, he'll raise his barrier and attract shots to it. After his smaller jump, you can anticipate him jumping again or running and dodge accordingly. So to avoid Anchor, just try to anticipate his attacks and pause buffer if you need more reaction time. Jump over him or slide under his jumps and never trap yourself in a corner. Overall, Anchor is the second hardest boss in the game next to Quick Man. For no damage loops against Anchor, try to stay on top of his attacks and and my single biggest tip to you is to try to stand at the 25% and 75% spots on the floor shown here. Never stop in the middle of the 50% range, and remember that 0 and 100% are the corners, so stay away from there. This boss will certainly weigh you down like an anchor. Man. Subscribe for more! Punk, originally from Mega Man 3 Game Boy. His weapon is Screw Crusher, and he's weak to Mega Buster and Mirror Buster. Punk is the second robot from the Mega Man Killer series, built by Dr. Wily. Punk is also rebellious and refuses to obey figures of authority. Punk starts by destroying the ceiling on incoming and then he can do one of two attacks. He can turn into a compact spike ball, which is invincible, and bounce up and down in place and then fly across the screen either high or low. Or he can neutral jump and spam his screw crushes at the player from full screen. So to avoid Punk, jump over his low spike ball or slide under his high spike ball and bait out his projectile. Overall, Punk hits like a truck and if you are not respecting his moves, you will lose health very fast. This boss can be challenging, but not as challenging as Anchor. He actually is a Punk. He actually is a Punk. For no damage loops against Punk, try to stay away from him and duck under his screw crusher attacks. You can also bait them out to get closer to him. Make sure you are prepared for a high or low spike ball as well. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a happy little comment. Don't be a punk. Subscribe for more! Pluto from Mega Man 5, aka Rockman World 5. His weapon is Breakdash and he's weak to Grab Buster. 
Pluto is a star droid designed for jungle combat. Dr. Wily later used Pluto schematic as the inspiration of Slash Man's design. Pluto is also a pretty cute kitty. Pluto starts by shooting small energy waves twice at different elevations of high and low. Pluto will then break dash on the floor towards the player and then break dash in the opposite direction at an angle and then finally one last time clinging towards the wall. Once on the wall, Pluto will fire three homing projectiles towards the player and land on the ground. Once Pluto is back on the ground, the pattern repeats. So to avoid Pluto, jump over him and his projectiles and avoid his break dash cross up. Once he's on the wall, just walk away from his shots. Overall, Pluto has one of the trolliest attack patterns in the whole game and can be inconvenient to fight. For no damage loops against Pluto, jump over him and his projectiles while he's on the floor, walk away from his projectiles on the wall, you can also shoot him when he clings to the wall but it's a very tight window and it feels good to pull off. If you never watched this, you're silly like Goofy, but since you watched it, you're cool like Pluto. Subscribe for more! God damn it, dude. Mega Marino, his name is Mega Marino.